Hey guys, welcome to the Prelims Focus News discussion of 30th August 2017 and the Hindi version of it is also available in my YouTube channel. So if you at all want to see it, you can come and watch it there, right? So let's start the very first news guys. It is about uh, atomic fuel reserve which has been inaugurated in Kazakhstan. This was actually a project which was being carried uh, started in 2010 by International Atomic Energy Agency. Now what is this agency? We will uh, discuss in the next slide. But uh, uh, the few facts are there that it is a very world first low enriched uranium bank which has been inaugurated in Oshkemen region of Kazakhstan right so let's uh, just see the uh, region of Kazakhstan it is in Central Asian region which is being sandwiched by uh, Russia and these countries like Uzbekistan um, you know uh, Tajikistan Kyrgyzstan right so this is about it and uh, to focus uh, more about the facts of this atomic fuel reserve uh, it is basically a bank which will hold 90 ton of uranium which is enough to power large reactors for three years all right uh, and uh, few other factual things are like it will uh, ensure transport to ensure the transport the IAEA that is International Atomic Energy Agency has signed an agreement with Russia say for example when this uh, uranium fuel will be needed by uh, you know European countries then Russia can allow their border to pass this uranium uh, fuel through the border region of Russia right so that's why IAEA has signed an agreement with Russia also and the bank will serve as a source of last resort to uh, low rich enrich uranium means just remember just this line is very important guys it will uh, serve as a last resort to low enriched uranium right means in the middle of course i mean countries can't demand for their uranium fuel from this uh, bank of uh, you know which has been opened in kazakhstan it will they will only give the fuel when this is at the last resort of you know uh, they are in the last resort of that fuel in their country right and it is said that after opening of this uh, bank uranium fuel bank it will disincentivize other countries from developing their own uranium enrichment capacities right and uh, for this uh, iaea has you know uh, they have come up with few of the stricter criteria that uh, first criteria is first there must be a disruption in supply due to extraordinary circumstances second criteria is uh, the IAEA must have certified that nuclear material has not been diverted by the country in the past means they will check the past record also if that country is uh, you know uh, his his or her past I mean her country's uh, uh, feminine so whether her past record is good in this sector or not and the buying countries must commit to using uranium only for fuel purpose not for weapon purpose right so these are few of the criteria now let's see about what is international atomic energy agency it has been established in 1957 which has its headquarter at vienna that is in austria right and it is not under the direct control of united nations remember but 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 it reports to both United Nations General Assembly and as well as Security Council, United Nations Security Council, right? And the work of it is to promote the peaceful use of nuclear energy and also to inhibit its use for any military purpose in near future. And it works with member states and multiple partners worldwide to promote safe, secure and peaceful nuclear technologies, right? Next is about a rice uh, getting geographical indication status, guys. It is the name of the rice is Gobindo Bhog rice. All right, and it is found in Bordawan district of uh, West Bengal. Just see where is Bordawan district in West Bengal. And uh, rice, all right, and rice from other regions or uh, rice of other varieties cannot be branded as Govindo Bhog. Means up till now, this uh, Govindo Bhog rice was since it was very tasty. So other people, uh, you know, uh, used to you know sell their uh, rice uh, by the name of Govindo Bhog. But after getting this geographical indication status, they can't do this because this Govindo Bhog rice is very uh, much good i mean these characteristics are also written here that it is short grain aromatic sticky rice having sweet buttery flavor right so that's why due to its these uh, you know attractive characteristics and features the markability of the rice was very much and after getting this uh, geographical indicate uh, indication status it is said that marketing uh, marketability of this rice will further strengthen and in not only in national markets but in international markets also right so this was about it next is Nitya has launched the ease of doing business report guys and uh, this is our indigenous ease of being doing business 
uh, one ease of doing business is there which is being uh, you know uh, released by the world bank but this is our indigenous uh, you know ease of doing business report which is based on enterprise survey that has been conducted recently with jointly with idfc institute and uh, and in under this survey they have you know taken the survey from 3500 manufacturing firms and across the every corners of india situated right and the world's bank ease of doing business takes the uh, you know data from only the cities of delhi and mumbai but this will uh, you know take the data from 3500 manufacturing firms which are situated across the indian uh, indian region right india's uh, territory right and uh, the aim is to access the business regulation and enabling environment across the india from first firms perspective and india needs i mean in this report only that it was been said that india needs to create an environment that fosters global competitive firms capable of driving and sustaining economic growth right and major findings of this report was in various sectors like economic performance and report so let's see about what uh, in this economic performance and report a uh, thing that has been said in this uh, report was that enterprise in high growth states are significantly less likely to report major or very severe obstacles or approvals right and firms located in high growth states also reported 25 percent less power shortage and in improvement over time uh, sectors it is being seen that newer and younger firms which are you know uh, coming uh, due to the entrepreneurship program uh, carried out by the government of india so these uh, younger firms are getting more favored uh, environment of to set up their business in india and in uh, in that they are less taking uh, they they take less time in obtaining approval than older firms suggesting an improvement in business environment right and in information gap sector low awareness has you know is the one of the region due to which it has been said that uh, many of the companies and firms don't have the knowledge of what single window system is right and in rebel labor regulations sector also uh, like labor intensive countries uh, uh, sectors means those sectors where um, there are more proportion of jobs uh, right so they are complaining that they feel more constrained by labor related regulations so these are some sort of finding which you can incorporate as a further point in your mains answer all right so let's see the next news it is about hybrid clone variety of 2205 of sugarcane variety see basically this species of two uh, this species that is 205 species was the first hybrid clone species of sugarcane which was developed in india uh, for subtropical climate region and it was launched in 1918 and 19 uh, and 2018 is your plums exam so totally 100 years all right so that's why it is becoming very important for your plums perspective all right so the varieties of under 2205 variety two uh, things uh, two rice are were uh, main were considered very you know very uh, productive and those varieties are sakaram just read these two names guys i can't read it all right and uh, yeah 100 years of excellence in sugar research is being you know uh, i mean uh, that is being celebrated now and hybrid clone has led to it is being said that 50 percent increase has been taken place after incorporation of these hybrids varieties means say for example before the incorporation of these hybrid varieties if 100 quintal was a production but after the incorporation 150 quintal uh, was become the production all right so these were a few of the factual things now next is yuva which is a skill development pr uh, program which has been carried out by delhi Polish. all right so it is kind of delhi Polish uh, delhi Polish initiative which is undertaken um, which is under the pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana so it is basically aimed uh, to you know improve the image of police among the common man because earlier the common man used to think that police don't cooperate with us but after the you know setup of this yuva kendras in different uh, that is uh, skill development program under the pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana in different delhi police stations so you know people as well as the uvas who are directly connected to through this program uh, will feel more secure and will feel you know more uh, belonging to the police infrastructure of our country right so a uh, few of the facts are given like delhi police has opened skill development training centers in delhi police stations and police will adopt people friendly measures and increase their social interaction right and uh, through this 
uh, connect with the youth will be there by upgrading their skills as per their competencies and youths especially who are under the between the age group of 70 to 25 years will be taken under this category and uh, those uh, students will be major focus who are school dropouts juvenile offenders and victims of crimes etc right next is about smart agriculture conclave which is being organized by you know uh, which will be organized by a uh, ministry of science and technology uh, between 30th and 31st of august that is today and tomorrow right so the aim of it is agriculture to integrate agriculture with science and technology innovation and farm ecosystem and uh, few of the more aims are like to modernize all aspects of agriculture by bringing evergreen revolution in agricultural sector and uh, under it there will be I mean, it is said that there will be formation of farmer zone all right it is kind of in uh, artificial intelligence which is uh, which will be acting as cloud service right means under it different agriculture data will be collated at a single space and whatever in future if the farmer needs any informations regarding any sort of agriculture in any part of the region of india so they can uh, you know take the their information through this farmer zone uh, cloud service right so it will act as a artificial intelligence also and uh, it is said that this farmer zone will be multi-purpose window for solutions and will be available for farmers anywhere in the world means not only in india farmers across the world can take the data from it right and it will focus on smaller marginal land farmers more it it doesn't mean that it won't help the rich farmers rich farmers also it will help but the major focus will be small and marginal landhold farmers because they are the one who are mostly exploited in india i mean mostly not exploited per se i would say but uh, you know the circumstances are such that that they are getting exploited right so means government directly doesn't exploit them but the circumstances stands like such uh, which uh, leads to their exploitation so it was about it next is women's uh, women transforming india award guys so this was award which was launched uh, previous year by niti aayog under it niti aayog has you know uh, asked for many entries regarding the women's uh, regarding the uh, you know uh, very good uh, i mean good women in the sense that those kind of women who had done extraordinary work in their field hai na and uh, try to transform societies across different indian cities villages and towns right and effort by the it was it is kind of effort by the government which will be a long way in motivating women because those women who have done extraordinary thing to develop their societies under uh, their uh, you know jo, under their uh, you know uh watch so they will be given uh, you know award under this women transforming india awards right so it will act as a kind of token and encouragement for them that in future also they do such kind of marvelous work so that they get recognized in the society and through the government all right next is about ultra thin carbon nanotube uh, can separate salt from sea water see guys there was a formation of basically ultra thin carbon nanotube which is considered 50000 times thinner than a human hair you just touch your human hair just see what is the thinness of it and 50000 more thin than this that carbon nanotube and has been formed and it is said that after forming the of this carbon nanotube uh, we can you know extract the salt water means extract the potable water from the salt water present in sea water right means in future we are not going to face any more problem uh, regarding the uh, water it is being said after you know manufacturing of this ultra thin i mean after the discovery of this ultra thin carbon nanotube so it is indeed a very good news next is north korea uh, has fires missiles over japan see north korea has uh, you know uh, recently fired missile over japan which has been co cause of concern from different countries like i mean all the countries of the world except uh, you know uh, north korea himself is you know uh, telling that uh, whatever the north korea has done a very bad thing and in fact united nations uh, council has unanimously condemned the north korea missile test and because see north korea is telling that we are conducting this missile test because first of all there are military drills carried out by us and south korea and japan uh, in the sea of japan region of north korea and uh, there is also third deployment by you know the us in south korea which is totally targeting the north korea only right so and they are also fear that you know uh, iraq like situation could also happen in them they like the iraq where the us has invaded iraq hai na 
so they are fearing that you know us will invade us also so that's why they are conducting these type of activities these type of launching activities in fact uh, before few days there was a report that you know they have uh, they have discovered they have discovered a uh, intercontinental ballistic missile also and uh, donald trump has recently warned uh, north korea that uh, you know f with fire and fury they can you know attack this north korea that's why you know north korea is showing such kind of activities so guys it was all about it we'll meet